I am high as shit. That's why you know right off the bat, so I don't want to get halfway through and you're like, this guy's high as shit. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, we got a lot of pot smokers in here, huh? Yeah. That is hilarious. Proud group of druggies, aren't you? Very proud. It's the only group of druggies that's that proud. It is. Watch this. Where are all my black tar heroin fans at? Yeah! Yeah! ruin my joke, asshole. <laughs> appreciate that. That's funny. Uh, but like most stoners, uh, I watch a lot of movies, and I don't have a job. <laughs> Uh, but I watched a lot of movies, but I realized the other day, there was, there's certain movies that like ruin things for you for life, you know what I mean? For life, they ruin things. Like, I watched Jaws the other day, I was like, my whole life, ever since I watched Jaws when I was little, I fucking hated sharks. Fuck sharks. Because of Jaws, I say fuck sharks now. People are like, what about, what about, what about like, little ones or nice ones? Well, I don't care. Fuck sharks, fuck the ocean. <laughs> I'm not a big fan, but the other one is. <coughs> I'm gonna like choke on my own joke. That's good. Excuse me. The other one is spiders. When I watched Arachnophobia when I was little, it's fucking terrible. I hate spiders. Like I tried to like wash a spider in the shower the other day, and I tried to like wash it down the drain, and finally when it got down the drain, I like couldn't turn my back to it. And I mean, I just like stood and stared at the drain, like, what if he grabbed onto something? Just waiting for me to turn around, he's gonna like, come up and like bite my balls or something. I don't, know I don't know if that's what spiders do, it's just like my two worst kids. Like they bit the balls and I buy a spider. That's really awful. <laughs> uh, but I was like getting out of the shower and I uh, saw another spider there. And like the base of my house is pretty much the movie Arachnophobia. That's how bad it is. But I was like going for it and like right as I got to it, I like stopped a little bit and I had the toilet paper as ready. And then right as I was about to get there, another spider came out of the bushes from the side, and I said, Clever girl. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's why I like to do uh, what I like to call the suffocate method. And that's, uh, you can use whatever you want. I just happen to use empty beer cans because they're sitting on a nice stand right next to me. Uh, I'll do the suffocate method where I'll take the beer can and I'll just like, set it on top and hope it dies in fucking old age. <laughs> and then, and then, like, I'll put some date, I'll put the time and date on there. I'll check it a week later, like, mm, no, that one's not ready. Maybe <laughs> that one. Spiders, I hate them. I hate them, but I do like drinking. That's something I do like. Did you guys see the new Miller Lite commercial? The new Miller Lite cans they have right now? Or you can just pop it. Right, right, right after you open it, you just pop this little thing on the side, and all of a sudden, shotgun! <laughs> and then it, right there. Miller Lite is, I'm pretty sure they're gonna change their uh, advertising slogan to Miller Lite. You're pretty much just gonna wanna chug this. <laughs> so we helped you out here. Just a little, just a little quick thing. Yeah. That's good. That one worked. I like drinking, everyone likes drinking, like, here, we just find reasons to drink, like, any reasons to drink. Yesterday, what was it, Cinco de Mayo, right? No, Saturday, is it Saturday? What day is it today? What day is it today, and where am I? Uh, yes, whatever day it was, Cinco de Mayo just came around. Uh, but nobody really, like, celebrates what it's for up here, you know what I mean? It's just, like, a reason to drink. It's just, like, an excuse, like, oh, yeah, what is it? Cinco de Mayo, yeah, let's go drinking. Let's do it. Like, holidays don't have meaning to us sometimes, or they change, like Halloween. Halloween has changed from when we started doing it. Remember back in the day? Costume up, go get some candy. Now, we costume up and we go get fucked up. Like, that's, the only, that's the only thing. Like, we at least kept one of those. Uh, one of them, that's so well. Not all these are going to make the cut. Uh, so Siri's getting sued. Yeah, the little Apple thing. So it says you can ask it anything. Anything, you can ask it anything. That's pretty broad. I feel like questions question to say, you can ask it anything. So we tried it the other day. The first question is how to start basic. Siri, how do you make a fire? Came back with like 18 instructions, but I was like, okay. 
It's kind of a lot, but at least he told me how to make a fire. You know, <laughs> let me try to get a little harder. He said, uh, Siri, where can we find the best Asian ass porn? <laughs> and she came back with, uh, there are two Asian massage parlors in your area. <laughs> Well, it's still kind of close. But we were kind of drunk, so we decided to really test it. We said, uh, Siri, there's a black guy stealing a car outside my house. What should I do? And this is, yeah, this was bad. This got really bad. She came back and said, there are three auto dealers in your area. And I was like, okay, that's just taking it a little too far, Siri. That's just a little too far with the auto dealers. Yeah, they're making Siri smarter now, so. I'm making Siri smart. I'm pretty sure Siri's going to be our downfall. But yeah, I'm pretty sure. Because it's going to start learning, and then in 20 years, it's going to send a T-1000 back to kill Sarah Connor. So, yeah. Siri is definitely going to be our downfall. Well, uh, I have a hard time meeting women. I do. I have a hard time meeting women uh, because they take me too seriously. Like, everything I say, they take seriously. Like the other day I had to tell this girl, I was like, no, I'm not going to hit you in the face. Like, that's not something that I do, I don't have to that. Plus, we're in public, you think I'm going to get away with that? There's no way I'm going to get away with that. Uh, but she might or might not have had a black guy, and I might or might not have asked her if she wanted a fresh one. Uh, but she's like, too, too serious. You know what I mean? Like, I took a girl home the other night, like, no, not like that. We just, like, watched a movie. Uh, and then had anal sex. Uh, and like the next day she's leaving, I was like, I'll call you. <laughs> it's like, come on, come on, let's not take everything and say, seriously. <laughs> right. uh, I do like drinking though, I like drinking, but I feel like some of our, uh, some of our drink names are like kind of offensive, you know what I mean? Like Irish car bomb. Have, that's like a thing. They have that. Like in Ireland, they have like car bombs. That's pretty, that's pretty big. I said, like, two people come in and they like, order and, like, oh, yeah, we'll take uh, two Pearl Harbor, please. They're like, oh, my God. Come on, man. Come on, man. That's ridiculous. All right. That was Dan Jones.